Oh hey, welcome back to Orozco's Kitchen. Today, both kids have soccer practice. So we're gonna make a quick and easy meal on the go. We're gonna be making hibachi bowls and we pretty much bought everything at Trader Joe's but I'm gonna cook the meat on the Blackstone. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and all these ingredients, they'll be right down below in the description. Let's go ahead and let's get cooking. I got some all natural beef, shaved beef steak. Only eleven fifty four at Trader Joe's. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump it right on here. Do some light seasoning. All right guys, so my son got invited to go to Canada and play hockey and train with some really cool people out there. And we plan to take him there. In order to get there, well, we gotta save money because we're just not rich like that. So this is a great meal for us because right now we are on a budget and we're trying to make this dream for my son happen so if you guys have ever been in this situation where you're just you know trying to see where to save food is a great place to save money from not eating out to cooking at home more and all this comes together you're trying to save money and it does help all right it's gonna take about five minutes and meat's pretty much done already i'm gonna go ahead and pull this off pull it into a bowl and we're gonna cook our veggies next Get you a bowl like that. A little bit more oil on there. Fresh, peeled, and cut up carrots. Got some Trader Joe's broccoli. All right, so now that we're cooking our broccoli, we want to go ahead and moisturize the broccoli and the carrots. So let's go ahead and add some oil. And the veggies, they're going to take about maybe about five to seven minutes. Add some water. This is a huge tip whenever you're cooking on your Blackstone and you're cooking veggies because it's almost like you're reverse steaming them. Yeah, I know. So somebody actually explained what the heck that means. So I've done this before and it does help a lot. So that little chrome thing that you see here, that's my pepper grinder. And I added some pepper and a little bit more seasoning because I like flavor. All right, guys, so we're going to pull our veggies off. We don't want them too soft. I don't like soft veggies. Put our carrots off. I'm gonna put our broccoli off. All right, now that our food's all ready, I'm gonna go ahead and plate it in a bowl and I'm gonna tell you exactly how much I spent and we're gonna give it a taste test. All right guys, we're gonna be making our bowls and we have frozen rice because I don't have the time to make rice we just put some half a thing of rice. These things are super convenient, especially when you're on the run. So I am gonna use frozen rice and I don't care. Now we're gonna throw some meat on here like this. Throw some carrots, throw some broccoli on here. This thing's looking pretty good. Throw a little bit more carrots, a little bit more meat. Bam, look at this thing. Sesame is on top. Red pepper flakes on there. That's sriracha. A little bit more of that famous Dave's. Bam, there it is. All right guys, kind of running out of time, but now that you saw how to make these bowls, these things are fairly inexpensive. You saw the meat was only like $11. Carrots were another like $3. Broccoli, another five. Literally like under 20 bucks, you can make this meal for like four or five people. We got the rice too, so you gotta put that into account. Yeah, about 20 bucks. Whip out your best chopsticks, but you dare use a fork. All right, let's give it a try, guys. Shot the meat. Mmm, that's good. Why would you go to Flame Broiler if you can make it yourself on uh, Blackstone? Oh yeah. Try the broccoli. Don't forget the rice. Mmm. I'll be honest, me and the wife were always on the co, taking these kids to soccer practice, hockey practice, picking them up from school, you know, working on our side hustles, working overtime. We're so busy, but this meal is great. And I'm gonna be making more meals like this, which is like quick on the go meals. 
and I feel like you guys would appreciate that. And if I include the prices, I think that would also be very helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making more videos like this. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. But if you guys like this video, you guys would definitely like this next video.